Hey guys, and welcome back to the 401 on Tech. And ever since we got the Apple Risen Pro, it's a really awesome piece of tech. The experience you can have was really great. The one downside has been the comfort. Now I can last yes. longer than Michelle, like, but it's still not the most comfortable thing. But Michelle's been having a comfort problem. So Anna Pro sent this hit strap into the channel. So yes. we're gonna try it out. So this is the Anapro pressure reducing comfort head strap. And they say it will reduce facial pressure by 60 to 90%. So definitely looking forward to trying this out. So let's get this unboxed. So I don't think there's gonna be a whole bunch to nice it. Nice packaging. Yeah, I like yeah, it. Nice. It's kind of got like a little magnetic thing. So no, I love do. magnets. Yes, you do. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Linda. All right, what so we, we have? have some instructions instructions here nice so you know how to put it on how to attach it and everything and here we have installation contents of package all the nice little paper goodies and then inside the box the main event so let's see here okay so it looks like we have two cushions and they look like they're two different thicknesses so let's check that out so we have, yeah, so two different. So there's a 15 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. Cushion. And it's like, a, it's really, it's a nice, it almost, you know, kind of like memory foam. Yeah, that's nice padding. Um, and it's like, a, I guess this is like a pleather kind of material or polyurethane. Yeah. But it feels nice. Sponge, this is really sponge thick. pad installation. I think I might use the thickest one, but I don't know. Yeah. We're, we're going to try both. So those are the two. Yeah, they're calling them sponge Oh, pads. and these are actually extra cushions because it looks like there's a cushion on here as well. So that's nice. So you get three three cushions. Uh, apparently, I can't um, unbox a things that have. A few moments later. That have plastic on them. The struggle is I real. I can do it. Get your Hulk Hogan All right, on. I got, I got it. I got it. All right, so that's, that's it. I mean, that's the strap. Yeah. Right there. Plastic material feels pretty nice. It's this, like a I'm nice concerned, smooth. I'm concerned about the friction of putting on, whether that's going to wear on the, yeah, the straps. But it looks that. like they molded it pretty well. So hopefully that's going to slide in, you know, without a lot of friction, but stay snug. Yeah. So how about we take out the Apple Vision and get this installed. And then we're going to test it out for a couple of days and let you guys know our thoughts. Okay. All right. So... Based on the instructions, it looks like we just slide it on. Mm -hmm. It looks like it goes like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So obviously take off your band. Right. And then you can start sliding it on. Yeah, a little speaker grill. Push that all the way down there. So yeah, I don't think it, like I said, it's got like the rubberized kind of plastic on it. So. Right. Slide this down some. So it just takes a little bit of force, but then that's that's it. So it's installed. Yep, and then you put, and then you put, put your, your band, back, the band on. back on. So yeah, so already like we did have the concern that it would be, you know, like we didn't want it to scratch up. I mean, this is thirty five hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so we didn't want it to scratch up that. But like I said, it's, it's like a rubberized material and it yeah. didn't seem like it scratched it at all. And if you're so. not like two users for one, you're probably not going to be taking it on and off a lot. Yeah. So there might not be a non-issue for most people. We're two people, so. Yeah, so we got it installed. So now we're going to test it out for a few days and let you guys know what we think. All right, guys, we're back. We've It's been a couple of days. We've tested this out, and I can say right off the bat, it does relieve pressure quite a bit. For me, I'm. I, we both have, have had some discomfort with the Apple Vision Pro, but for me, I struggled the most, and usually I can only last like 15, 30 minutes before like the pressure is getting to be too much. This one, I was able to go pretty much as long as I wanted. I kind of just stopped because, you know, I had something else to do or whatever. Like, I... I I still get a little pressure on the cheeks a little bit, but it's not enough where it's like, oh, this is painful, I gotta take it off. So it definitely relieved the pressure for me a lot and allowed me to wear it much longer. Yeah, for me, like it definitely relieves the pressure. So there's less pressure on my face with this on. Um, however, like it does fit differently with the head strap on. Yeah. Which, you know, good or bad, I mean, it definitely, like, there's less pressure on the face, but then the way it fits, you know, I'm not sure that I'm like, you know, the biggest fan of, but I mean, it definitely, there's less pressure, less pressure on the, on the face. So I can, it's, you can wear it longer, but it just, it just fits differently when you have the head strap on. Yeah. Um, and then also it's easy to install. Like it took 
probably less than 30 seconds. Yeah. I mean, you just take off the solo knit band and you slide them on and it's installed. Yeah, easy installation. And, and, what, and with that installation, you know, sliding it on, I was concerned about, uh, you know, sliding it on and it's scratching, but, yes, but it's a rubberized material. Yeah. And ideally, you know, if this is gonna be your permanent solution, you're probably only gonna put it on like one time. So that's not gonna be an issue. Yeah, and it also doesn't add much weight at all. Again, like, you know, the, the Apple Vision Pro weighs enough on its own. You don't want any extra weight. Uh, so it's very lightweight. I mean, I didn't really notice like, oh, you know, any extra weight or anything like that. So that's also a, yeah. a nice plus of it. Yeah. Now with this on, like I said, it fits differently, right? So the way this hip strap is on, it kind of pushes it away from your face a little bit. So that kind of uh, decreases your field of view. So what some have been doing is, and, and also the Anapro has it on their site, you can take your facial interface off and, and you know get some of that field of view that you lost back and maybe then some, depending on your face and you know the way it sits on, on your face, but that's, that's something that you can do. But um, wearing the strap does uh, you know kind of decrease your field of view because like I said, the strap is pushing it a little bit further away from your face and it just fits on your head differently, you know, if you just had the sole in the pan itself. Yeah, and for me, um, yeah, it would just be nice if it was adjustable. So maybe you can like, cause also if you have different facial inner, like obviously you, you get kind of fitted, yeah, right? Yeah, you get fitted, yeah. So you might have a different experience depending on your facial interface. But you have the different uh, facial interface pads. Yeah. So like maybe play around with your thicker one, your thinner one, uh, yeah. play around with the different, um, you know, head strap, padding just those are the kind of adjustments you can make yeah. and hopefully depending on your your face and way and way it fits on there you know your mileage may vary some some are better than others a lot of people have been having a good experience for me yeah. it was just like a little bit like a little bit different like i had to like fiddle around with a little bit and to, to get it dialed in just so but then i, yeah. I got it in and i was able i watched uh you know, it's so a 24 hours of the month this weekend, so I watched uh, some of the qualifying, and that was, you know, that was over an hour for the, the qualifying before Hyperpole, and I was able to see things clearly. It did take me like a, a few minutes just to get it, like with the facial interface padding and the head strap padding dial in just the way I wanted it, but I was able to get there and I was able to enjoy my content. It, it kind of, the way it makes it sit is it kind of makes the solo band sit up like a little bit high. like I kept had to keep on like pushing it further down and yeah just, it fits up a little bit and higher. then I did and so sometimes for more comfort for me I used the thicker light seal cushion uh and when I put that on it was kind of it, it's never told me this before but it, it said that oh the Apple Vision Pro is too far away from your your face or your eyes or whatever like so yeah, so somehow it makes it sit like further away, which I get like, you know, that's gonna help relieve the pressure, but it just kind of makes yeah, it's sitting, things a little bit odd. It's sitting a little there bit. and it's just kind of pushing it out a little yeah. bit, yeah. So with the Anna Pro head strap on in your standard Apple Vision Pro case, like closing it, you have to like push down to get it in there. And I'm not the biggest fan of that because maybe over time pushing it down, you're gonna like maybe change the shape of your head strap and you might not have the effectiveness yeah, of it. And that's without the battery. Like if you, when I put the battery in there, you cannot, you, yeah. you can't do it. And I would not say just smash it down to get it done. Like, uh, yeah, so you, if you, you have a different really case it. that might, you so, know, have like more volume, you, you know, you yeah. probably get it in there, but that's one thing uh, I did know, like smashing it down. Yeah, so if you uh, have, to get it in. if you have the Apple Vision Pro, case or maybe another case like i said we don't have one so we don't know but it might be an issue like storing it so you might have to take it off regularly just to store it away yeah yeah and then also one small thing is when i tried to change so it comes with um of another size i think it was 15 millimeter um pad pad and i wanted to replace that to see if it would make a difference and the velcro kind of started coming up off of the plastic uh, it's a small thing, but maybe if they use like um, more, stronger, more adhesive. stronger adhesive, then that wouldn't happen because like once you get your fit, like you're not gonna take it off a lot, but you know, the initial yeah. like. Getting it know. on, yeah. So the price is, is $40, but currently on the website, you get 10% uh, off, so it's $35.99. So, you know, your Apple Vision Pro is an already expensive device, you know, yeah. putting, and if you are one of those people that can only wear it for like 10, 15 minutes, 
this is probably going to allow you to you know relieve that pressure and be able to go longer so at that price i definitely think it's worth it you know expensive device you, you want to use it longer than 10 or 15 minutes yeah so uh, this is uh definitely a good uh, solution to add more comfort well with the caveat you know you just need to play around with the the head strap pads your facial interface uh cushions and stuff and just get it dialed in right for you but that's going to do it for this one guys Please do remember to like, favorite, and subscribe so we can bring you more great content like this. And we're going to see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.